again, these are meant to uh, uh, elicit ideas and to suggest what is possible, and what other places have done. Uh, this is something that is being proposed. The, if you're familiar with the Volar, uh, this is a, these are some renderings of the Volar uh, that's over being proposed over on the Santana Row site itself. It's a 267 foot, 25 story structure um, that is a mixture of uh, retail and ground floor, commercial for a few floors, residential, and then a rooftop uh, restaurant. That little round thing up there, the rooftop restaurant. Uh, lots yes. of, I'm sorry. What's the context of what you're presenting? Oh, so, so the, the context of this, this is to uh, finish off the, the, the visioning piece of, uh, we have uh, buildings, buildings, bikes, and sustainability, the last three categories to talk about. And this is just, a, and I'm just going to flip through these quickly and just explain what they are as I go. But the context is to, ex to show what uh, proposals are, are out there, what exists in the, in the world in other cities, and, and that we can look at, that we can maybe draw on to see what works in other places. That's, that's, the, that's the context of the next three sets of slides. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through these quickly. These are some of Vancouver buildings. You'll notice these are, these are all 25-story buildings, but they're all smaller, they call them floor plates. They're the, the, the how big the floor is. So they're smaller, they call them pin-type buildings, where they're tall and skinny, um, but they also have this blended into their environment. So that it's a combination of uh, dense residential, <laughs> tall buildings, without the feel of being in, in New York City where you have these, right on the sidewalk, you have these huge things that go off on the side and make you feel a little claustrophobic. Uh, it doesn't make me feel claustrophobic, but it makes people claustrophobic. Uh, but you'll notice there's a lot of uh, pedestrian uh, engagement at the base of all these buildings. And there's, there's a lot of, and this is on the waterfront, but there's a lot of, of, of access, of park access around here, a lot of what they call porous access so you can flow through it uh, without being having to go like around the block to get across the street. Uh, but these are all, it's a high density uh, designed area. But uh, I would suggest that, and this is all still in, um, in Vancouver. So it's a lot of buildings, a lot of height without actually feeling. And Vancouver was rated the top five cities in the world um, in terms of livability, or at least in their visiting destination. Uh, but it doesn't have, like this is a really tall building, but there's like a 45 foot sidewalk right in front of that. So you don't feel how you can, um, it's around the corner there. It expands onto a plaza off to the, off to the right over here. Um, so it's, it's, again, these are just to uh, show that you can have different heights that blend together um, and how those might work. This is an active area, kind of like the village, but we call it Yale Town in, um, in Vancouver. Uh, again, more examples of tall buildings with residential, uh, but it's got balconies and you know what have you. But there's there's a plenty of pedestrian space at the ground level, so you don't feel how tall those buildings are when you're walking by. Again, just kind of kind of blow through some of those. Um, this is more like a Santana Road type of look, uh, mixed mixed use uh, design down here, um, and they blend with these 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 taller buildings as well. Uh, I want to throw this in because it reminds me of Oakland, there, you know, my uh, the. Uh, what we have around us. Uh, again, this is a, this, these buildings are actually connected, but it's, it steps it up and it goes really high. So when you're on the street level, you don't feel the height of that building or the density of that building because you feel this area at the, at the base level, at the ground level. And I don't remember what this building, I think that was a restaurant on the ground floor here, and um, there was a couple, it might have been a hotel. Um, I don't remember what was on those levels, but it was uh, it very you know, kind of pedestrian. You know, you can kind of go up, up and down. But there we go. Uh, yeah, so they had some shops down here and, and there's some office and um, other, other buildings in the background. But you can, the, the whole purpose of this is, is just to show that there are tall buildings and you can still have livable cities in tall, with, with tall buildings around you. Uh, here's an example. Again, that was a really tall building right there. But there's a, there's a plaza out here, so you, you're not cramped by the size of the, of the, of the mass, the massing of, of the building itself. Uh, again, just going through, just showing, um, this looks similar to a typical rezoning where we have here. This is a small, I, I, I don't know if I have, I don't have a picture of, uh, uh, of, of how big the space is, but it's not very big, and they're, they're proposing this, this structure right there on that site. So it's a small, like, a, like an acre or half an acre or something like that, and then they're gonna put that kind of thin, kind of pencil style uh, structure uh, over there. Um, again, just going, going through that, that's the end, that's the end of the buildings. Uh, again, I'm trying to go through quickly just to give you a flavor. Yeah, Ken. Just for curious, did you get any pictures of some of the accessory 
I mean, it's something like 35% of the single family residents that put accessory blinds. I didn't. I, I, I didn't. I didn't get out. I, I st we stayed in the, in, in the core a little bit more, so I didn't get out into that. Into that. I didn't. Any, any feel for the transition be between the single family home that we showed at the beginning and the the dense? There, they, um, the only ones, that, the, the, the single family home that I showed there, that kind of cottage looking yeah. thing, that was in a completely separate area, um, probably uh, five minutes outside of where a lot of the high, so high not density, next to each other. Not, not next to each other. The ones that were next to each other were more of those uh, four, three, four, five story um, that were much more closely in kind of in the shadow <coughs> of the really tall ones. With a lot, with a lot of green space. With a, with a, with a fair amount of green space around it, yeah. More than Manhattan. Uh, definitely. In green space. Yeah. Def, definitely yeah. more than Manhattan, yeah. I don't know if you add up Central Park and how that blends yeah, in. Well, I was but, talking, yeah, I was talking Yeah, but, I mean, but in terms of the feel, you don't feel like you're in a really dense environment based on how they've laid out their buildings and the 